Did you know that just like crypto, Litecoin has a halving event every four years since 2015? In 2015, Litecoin rallied over 37,000% during pre and post halving rallies. In 2019, Litecoin rallied over 1,800% during pre and post halving rallies. So although I don't think we ever get to see another 37,000% move in Litecoin, I definitely think that we can see a 10x from its recent bottom. Don't miss out on this once every four year opportunity to make some money during this year's Litecoin halving event. What's up guys, I'm Jay and welcome to Bitcoin Daily. Remember that this content is for educational purposes only and is not financial advice. Always do your own research before risking any of your own money. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and smash that like button. So let's dive right into this video. So to give some background, Litecoin was created in 2011 as a lighter and faster version of Bitcoin. It uses a different algorithm for mining new coins and it's often referred to as the silver to Bitcoin's gold. Like Bitcoin, just like Bitcoin, is decentralized and operates without a central authority. Now, moving on to the halving event, every four years, the reward for mining new Litecoin is reduced by half. This is known as the halving, and it's designed to control the supply of Litecoin and maintain its scarcity. The first halving took place in 2015, the second one back in 2019. Now, the third one is expected to be on the 2nd of August of this year. The halving event has been known to affect the price of Litecoin with its historical data showing strong rallies pre-halving, then a retrace immediately after the halving, and then a second rally post-halving. While of course none of this is guaranteed, it is something to keep in mind as we approach the third halving event. So to give you guys an idea historically what Litecoin has done during these halving events, let's take a look at the chart. So this blue line is going to represent the halving event. First one was in 2015, second one in 2019. We're going to see some similarities here. The first and probably most obvious similarity is that there's a pre-rally and a post-rally and the pre-rally is much smaller than the post. The next thing is that after the pre-rally there is a retrace and accumulation phase. You see it back in 2015 and also happened back in 2019. 2015 in the pre-rally Litecoin's price went up 826 percent over 175 days. Then during the retrace period it pulled back over 75 percent and the accumulation Accumulation phase lasted for 623 days. Then you can see in the post rally, the price went up 12,833% from bottom to top, and that lasted for about 287 days. Now, looking at 2019, the pre rally was about 642%, lasting about 196 days. Then price retraced about 85% from that pre rally top there over 273 days. And then in the post halving rally, the price shot up over 1,710% over 427 days. So the idea seems pretty simple, right? Buy during the bear market bottom, sell it at the pre rally top, buy again during the retrace period, and then sell it again during that post rally. Now the game plan is a simple part. What's not so simple is trying to figure out where these trends change, where these bottoms are and where these tops come in. So as far as when to buy before the pre-halving rally begins, basically look for a big support from the previous runs. So in 2015, you can see that this support was very obvious here. This would be the buy area where you wanted to buy for that pre-halving rally. Once again, in 2019, we're looking back at the previous rally, looking for that support. You can see a lot of support here resistance here. So this was definitely a point of interest between $20 all the way up to about $50. If you would have bought there, you would have been able to ride that wave all the way up. And this year we're doing the same exact thing. Looking at the previous supports and resistances, using those as the support and the buy area. And this time around, it's sitting around that $40 to $60 mark. So although you might have missed out on that bottom price, I think there's still opportunity here for you. So now we have our bags loaded with some light coins. We're prepared for that pre halving rally, but we got to figure out how to sell as close to the top as possible. So looking back at 2015, we'll see that the pre halving top came in 46 days before the actual halving date. By the time the halving actually occurred, price from the top was already down 67%. Looking at 2019, you can see that the top came in 
44 days before the Litecoin halving. By the time the Litecoin halving event happens, price was down over 34% from the pre-rally top. So if about 45 days is the average, that would give us a date of around June 18th, where we could potentially see the top of the pre-rally. Now, of course, we wanna try to find some confluence. So next question that I'm asking is how long pre-rallies lasted historically. So if we look at 2015, we start counting from the bottom of Litecoin's price until the top. In 2015, that would have been 177 days. In 2019, from the very bottom of that bear market until the top of the next rally, it was 190 days. So for measuring from the bottom to the top, it gives us an average of about 183 days. If we're expecting June 18th to be the pre-rally top and we go back 183 days, it actually actually puts us pretty close to a local bottom. Gives us a date of December 17th of last year. So although it doesn't coincide with the actual bottom of Litecoin's price during the previous bear market, it does coincide with a local bottom here. You can see that that's actually the most recent bottom we've had there for Litecoin. So taking all that into consideration, it doesn't look like a bad guesstimate to think that in June, we could see that pre-rally top. Doesn't have to be June. June 18th, but I think sometime in June itself, it could be a good time to start considering selling, especially if we go into our resistance areas, which we're gonna take a look at right now. So now we have a possible date aiming for June. And again, I wanna look for more confluence. So now I'm gonna look for previous resistances to see if maybe the price can offer some confluence so that we can try to catch that pre-rally top. So looking back at 2015, during that pre-rally, you can see exactly where it topped out over here. And then if we look back on the price action, we can see the same exact point of interest before that ever even happened. So previous price history here showed us a resistance around that five to $6 range with a support around that $3.50 range. And that's basically exactly the range that the price went during that pre-rally. Looking at 2017, we see something similar. This is where the pre-rally topped out. If we looked back in history, we can see that that was a support and resistance zone there. That was a supporting resistance range, right? Now you'll notice that this time it didn't make it all the way to the top. And last time not only did it make it to the top, but it wicked way out and above. So remember, we're not trying to guess exact prices. We're not trying to guess the exact tops, but we're trying to find that range that the price might get into that has confluence with the dates we're looking at. And then there we can start offloading some of our positions. So looking for similar setups during this event, I've come up with this range right here. So you can see in 2021 this range here was a support here you can see multiple times it's acted as a support and it's also acted as a resistance at several of these price points here and we can actually go even further back and it kind of lines up with this exact range that we have even the top of the range here lines up with some resistance that we had up here back in 2018 so this is a range that I'm looking at which basically stretches between $120 up to $235 now that is a big range. So to try to scope it in even a little bit more, I've created this range within this bigger range, right? Which I think could be closer to what we might actually see because this takes into account a few other resistance zones. If we spread it out all the way through, you can see it's been used many times as both resistances and support levels here. Even after the price of Litecoin fell here, it acted as a resistance when it tried to bounce back to the upside here. And that was around $140. So my best guess is going to be between $140 to $200. If we line these price ranges up here with our dates, now we have a lot more confluence on where we can really start thinking about selling during this pre-rally. So I'm going to be looking to sell probably sometime in June if this price is in or above this white box here. And we'll look back on this and see how that plays out. So that'll be fun to watch. So now let's look at the pre-rally retrace here. In 2015, price retraced by 74.3%. In 2019, price retraced by 85%. So if we're thinking that price will retrace by 70 to 80%, call it an average of 75, we're thinking that the pre-rally top will be somewhere here in this range. So I'll just click 
somewhere here in the middle of the white box and dropped down 75%, which puts us around $41. And if we look back at what might be in that range, if there's any support in that range, it instantly pops out that that was the bottom of Litecoin's price during this bear market. And if you want even more confluence, during the last pre-rally retrace, you can see it bottomed out right here, which lines up with this right here. And if we zoom it out, that was also the bear market bottom price for Litecoin. So now we have just two questions left. When is the post halving rally breakout and how high would the post halving rally go? So in 2015, the retrace plus accumulation phase lasted for about 623 days before we saw a breakout to the upside for that post rally. In 2019, it lasted about 273 days. So that's around a 56% difference between the two. If we use 609 days, that will put the breakout around February of 2025. And if we put 273 days, that will put the breakout around March of 2024. And I honestly think that arguments can be made in favor of both of those. Cause I think in 2024, 2025 is when we really see that next bull run. But the argument can also be made that this time, just like last time, it will decrease from the previous halving. So the first halving was 609 days, second 273, the third could be around 120 days. That will put us in October of this year using supports for where the bottom of that retracement might be. You have a way better chance in trying to figure out the day or the week or the month that the breakout will start for that post rally. So I'll be looking to buy back around this box here of support, which is between 40 to $60. So as soon as price touches this range, just like it did here, I will begin to load up. Now the final thing is trying to figure out where that post rally top is gonna be. What can we potentially see as far as the price of Litecoin during that post rally? So in 2015, the post halving rally went up over 12,800 Honestly, I don't think we see those numbers or anywhere close to those numbers. In 2019, the rally was about 1,710%. So I think that's more realistic to what we will get these times around. If we're thinking that this range down here is going to be the bottom of that retrace, once again, I'm gonna just pick somewhere in the middle of that box. And let's say this time around, we only go up 1,000%. 1,000% or a 10X from its support level here will put the price above $500, which would be a new all-time high for Litecoin. If we draw a trend line here from the previous two all-time highs that was set post-rally, you can see that these two kind of line up and that Litecoin has actually been setting up higher highs and also higher lows. So if we're expecting that same exact price movement, it kind of lines up. Now, depending how fast the breakout happens, how long it lasts, could determine the top price for Litecoin here. If we get it really soon, we could see probably that around $500 mark as the all-time high for Litecoin. If it happens closer to the end of 2024, we could get up to close to to $600. And if that happens in 2025, then we could potentially push for $650 to $700 for the new all-time high. So I'm setting up my range between $500 to $650 as that post rally top and new all-time high for Litecoin. Again, as we try to look for more confluence, we try to figure out a date range for how long the post rally breakout would last. In 2017, the post rally lasted about 287 days from the bottom to the top top. In 2019, it lasted about 427 days. That gives us an average about a year. So of course, depending when that breakout begins is when we'll probably see that top. Gives us an idea of when we might see that post rally top. And it's showing us anywhere between the end of 2024 to the end of 2025, beginning of 2026. And as we get closer to that time, we'll have more information like when the breakout began and all that. So it could make it a little bit easier for us using not only the date, but also the price ranges to try to figure out exactly where that top could be. There you have it guys. You're all set for this year's Litecoin halving so you can maximize this opportunity. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that like button. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. And if you want more in-depth breakdowns like this, you can join my mentorship program where I do breakdowns like this, 
plus share all the trades that I take every single day, including long-term portfolio holdings and what bags I'm loading up during a downtrend. Cryptocurrency is a once in a generation opportunity, so make sure that you do not miss out. So again, if interested, the link is in the description below. If not, I highly recommend that you check out these next videos that YouTube recommends to you guys. Peace and love.